Welcome back. I am here with the great Teandra Cooper. As great as she was before, as great as she is now, and as great as she will be. Thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Now, let's talk to you. Uh, I have some questions that the people want to know. <clears throat> okay. Oh, by the way, we forgot to give you an applause. Hold up. Okay, so check this out. So, uh, what, what made you who you are today? As, a, as it is a singer, as you are a, a, um, a leopard print wearer. Leopard print wearing singer. Yes. So we're gonna sign me up as. Um, well, I guess I would say I was, I was singing as far as my mom is concerned since I was able to talk. I wanna say realistically, I was, I've been singing since I was like four. So you learned to talk at four? I don't think I was singing since I was able to talk. I feel like she just says that to <laughs> make me feel better. I don't know. I honestly, we I'll know just say, mean. okay, four. Cause you know, that's the age that you, you start singing in, in the youth choir mm -hmm. or the, the children's choir growing up in the Church of God in Christ. So I was in everything. I grew up on a pew. I was born on a pew, oh, not man. literally. Sorry. I was born on the pew, so I've been in church my whole life. That's really all I know or all I knew for a really long time. So I've been singing in the church. My first selection, well, my first solo with the choir was Determined by Dorinda Clark Cole. Mm, that's a tough one. Ooh, yeah, it was tough. Did you pull it off? <clears throat> so, yeah, after that song, then... Um, <laughs> I think I did a duet with my mom, the the Will of God by Karen Clark Sherry that she did with Kiara. Another tough one. Why are all these tough, tough ones? I don't know. If these from? people have so much faith in me. I don't know. Oh, man. And I was looking back at old videos. You know, we had tapes back then. The, you put the tape on and you put it in another tape and you put it in the in the tape there. I was watching tapes and um. The tape inside the tape. Yeah, the tape inside the tape inside the tape. Pardon me. Cheap microphones. All right, we gonna make it do what it do. No, we apologize. We apologize. <laughs> Donate to the show. <laughs> yeah. So definitely. Okay. All right. All right. So you've been singing since you were roughly three. Four. Yeah. All right. That's what we're gonna go with. What do you attribute your musical style to? Is it just gospel music? Who are the main people who like influence your style? Well, what did you do the 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 softness, the tone, all of that. Um. I would, I would not just attribute it to gospel music. I like all types of music. I actually studied at FAMI for classical music. So it's kind of like a mixture of all of that. But earlier, I was a big, huge Karen Clark Sherry fan. Mm. Then when Kim Burrell came on the scene, I was like, okay, Karen, I love you, but I'm jumping, ship. I'm jumping ship. And that's like, that's exactly what happened. So kind of people like that. Um, I love, what's his name, Daryl Coley. I love Daryl Coley. Um, Dude, serious. He is, I don't know, it's something about his tone that just, and the things that he, is just beautiful. But I would say if I had to pick one artist, it would be Kim Burrell because she's been consistent throughout all of my transitions through life. She's always been there, whether it was for her richness, her runs, her ear, her placement, anything. Like, she's always been consistent. So I'll say Kim Burrell. I definitely agree with you on the Kimber Rail. It's just that I I really wish that she would put out more solid albums. Yeah. Yeah, that's all yeah. that's the only thing I hope for her. Grammys and stuff like that. You know. I I feel like her her focus is more behind the scenes and that is another thing that I can appreciate because as many of my close people know, I'm not really one of those let me be in the front type people. I don't even. You're really I, not. I'm and that not. brings up a second question. Oh. People want to know why are you not putting out albums? Because that's not what the Lord has. Um, it's not what He said okay. for my life. Oh, okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> not me. <laughs> can we get a concert? Can we get a? Can we get a? We can. We can. We can book the venue in Quincy. We can pull out five thousand people. Hmm. No. No. You just want to be. I just, I just like singing in the background. Sunday morning, singing in the background. So you think you're a background singer? Next Let's question. Let's do a poll. All right. <laughs> you're not. Uh, yeah, you got a forefront voice, I think. I mean, as a compliment. I think you should take that. Thank you so much. No problem. We'll be right back with DeAndre Cooper.